everybody, it's Miss Jackie and Miss Casey from the Ludington Library Junior Room and we're here to do another craft with you. Um, today we're going to do an early St. Patty's Day craft for, with you. Um, it is the rainbow with a pot of gold at the end. We already did one here for you. It's fun and you can either glue it to a piece of construction paper or you can just lay it on a piece of construction paper. If you just lay it on a piece of construction paper, you can eat it afterwards. If you glue it, do not eat it. Just telling you. If anything has glue on it, don't eat it. All right, so for this craft, you're gonna need construction paper, loop cereal, all different colors, pop cereal, scissors, cotton balls, glue, felt. Did I say scissors already? <laughs> scissors and that's about it um so we're gonna make a rainbow coming out of a cloud that goes into a pot of gold okay so the first thing you need is a piece of construction paper you can pick any color you want that's your base okay next thing you're gonna need is your glue you're gonna make a little pile of glue right on your left hand corner bottom corner and that's where we're gonna stick all the cotton balls. I dropped my glue. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're having a time today. All right, so we're gonna glue the bottom left corner and put your cotton balls there. Be generous with the glue. And you can place them nicely or you can just dump them on there. You want to make sure it's nice and fluffy, like a cloud. We are having a time today with everything, aren't we? We're like dropping things and just one of those universes against us kind of days. You grab the cotton balls, put them on, make a nice fluffy cloud. All right, once your cloud is ready, that's very good, Miss Casey. Once your cloud is ready, you're gonna make your pot of gold. So you're gonna make the black pot. So we're gonna have felt. We have little squares of felt. So this is how I've done it in the past. It's really easy. You're gonna hold it like this. You're gonna cut off a corner and another corner to make the bottom of the cauldron. So it looks roundish, right? Then about an inch down from the top, you're gonna to cut a little triangle. And one across the way from it. So that it looks like you have a little pot. Very good. Right? So you're gonna glue this to the bottom right of your construction paper. And that's your cauldron for the gold. Now this is going to take a little while to dry because we are using so much glue. But once it's done, it's really cool to look at. And like I said, you don't have to glue anything. You can just lay it down. And that way afterwards you can eat all the cereal that's making up your rainbow and your gold. You can't eat the cotton balls. You can't eat the cauldron but you could eat the cereal. Thought I should make that clear. Okay, we good? Getting there? All right. So the first thing you wanna do is put your gold in your cauldron. So we have the pop cereal. At the very top of the cauldron, you're gonna put some glue. If you're not gonna eat it. Yeah, if you're not gonna eat it. If you're gonna eat it, just place your gold on top of your cauldron. We're gonna glue ours. That's the gold. You're gonna tap down really good to make sure it's all glued on. Place your gold on top there. You can even add a little extra glue in between just to make sure they're all sticking. 
always fun to make a little bit of a mess when you're crafting, just as long as you clean it up afterwards. And like I said, this is going to take some time to dry, but it's going to look really cool after. Got it? All right. Are you gluing yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to make the rainbow. So you can pick. If you want to do multicolored rainbows, if you want to do one color rainbow, um, it's up to you. But what I usually do, it's like I did on here, I make three lines that go from my clouds to my gold. You space them out like a, maybe a good half an inch apart. And really make thick lines of glue. That's going to be your rainbow. Like I said, you pick what color loops you want to put on there. We have multiple colored cups of loops here, loop cereal. And I'm going to make, like I did here, one whole same, one line of one color, another line of another color, another line of another color. Okay, but you can do it any way you want. You can make it multicolored if you want. You just lay your Fruit Loops in your glue all along that line of glue. From your clouds all the way to your pot of gold. Kids will love to do this. A little time consuming, but it's good for little hands to do. My second line is going to be blue. My first line is yellow. My last line will be purple. What are your favorite colors? I like purple. You like purple? I like purple and red. good for fine motor skills too. Yeah. Little fingers will love doing this. All right. So my first line is complete. We're going to finish the second line. If you need more glue, you can always add more glue just to make sure they stick. So St. Patrick's Day is a fun holiday. You wear your green. Everybody wear green. Um, the rainbow at the end, you know, the rainbow with the pot of gold at the end, is an Irish tale. Um, it's all about finding your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Um, but it reminds us that you shouldn't rely on luck and you shouldn't be greedy. Mm -mm, that's not good. Um, to get quick fortune. You know, so hard work and planning builds character and makes the compensation you get for the job well done more meaningful. Um, don't take the easy way out of anything and be wary of people promising quick fortunes with little work involved. Good advice. You know, it's always good to do a job and to do it right and to work hard and do your best. That's all anybody can do. Is your best. And that's what the story is all about. What colors are you doing? Oh, you're doing multicolors. All the colors. More Mix, glue. Mixing them up. Need more glue. More glue. The glue will dry clear, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, please stay tuned um, to LMLS. Um, we are this month. We are giving away Spring Craft Grab and Go bags, which have two crafts in them and stickers and erasers. Um, you have to call ahead of time to reserve your bags at Ludington um, for pickup, um, and then you arrange a pickup time to come get your bags at, in our lobby for curbside pickup. Um, but it's a really cute Grab and Go craft bag, and it's made for kids. Five and up. 
but the crafts are all fun to do. Um, so give us a call um, starting tomorrow, which is, well, today, which is Monday, um, the 8th, correct? Yes. And uh, reserve your grab-and-go craft bags, and we'll have them down in the lobby for you with your kids' names on them. Um, the one craft is a rainbow craft. The other craft, I think, is a butterfly. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't remember the way it was. Um, so give us a call, 610-525-1776, extension 5, which is the children's room, and reserve your grab-and-go bags if you can. I'm all done, mine. Are you doing good? Almost. This is my pot of gold. I don't want to lift it up too much because the uh, cereal will fall off because it's not dry yet. That was fun. Okay. Now, if you didn't glue and you just put okay. things down, guess what you get to do now? Eat. You get to eat the cereal. If mom and dad say it's okay. Look at Miss Casey's creation. Oh, I like it. I like it. There's your pot of gold. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for joining us. We always have fun doing crafts with you guys. Um, please stay tuned for more fun things coming from the Levington Library Junior Room. And we'll see you soon. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye.